It is Len against Allen to jump center. Cleveland has it. And Drew, what are you looking for tonight? Beal attacking the hoop. Has to avoid Jared Allen. He's got the first two for the Wizards. Osman back to Allen. And Allen able to finish over Len. Garland will try for three and connect, like you said. Shoots it at about 41%. He's coming off five straight 20-point games. The other night, he had 10 rebounds altogether. Westbrook, the pull-up, got it. Three chances, none go down for Cleveland on that possession. Well, I like the theory. I mean, the Cavs are not the best three-point shooting team as uh, Lynn gets it. Three-point Cleveland lead. Beal. His three is good, and we're tied up at 12. Love against Gill. Little jump hook. Garland, watch the lob. There it is. Mm. Allen for the alley-oop. Great play by Darius Garland right there, attacking the middle of the court, finding that. Nance. Back to Osman. A corner three, and Jetty Osman knocks down his second three of the quarter. He's got eight points already. Neto, the fake and the runner in the paint, doesn't go. Gafford there for the offensive rebound and the foul. Great patience by Gafford. Garland in the paint over Gafford. And Garland's got five points on two of five from the floor. Garrison Matthews at the scorer's table to check in. Beal, his pull up. Beal challenging Hartenstein goes high <laughs> off the glass. It's 11 for Beal. Shot clock down to four. Hartenstein in trouble, finds a cutting wave, but turns it over. Here comes Smith. Gafford running. They throw it up to him, and Gafford is able to put it off the glass. Most unorthodox shots in the league. Beal with the left. Bradley Beal's got 13 of the 27 here in the first for the Wizards. Garland's over Gafford. Westbrook with the left. Russell Westbrook with his second field goal tonight. Westbrook. Ish Smith, the offensive rebound behind the back to Robin Lopez. That was a phenomenal feed by Smith. Bradley Beal has returned. Lopez to the left shoulder. And it got him going. Mm -hmm. Love over Lopez. A late run if they want to. I mean, I think they have enough talent to do that. But without Colin Sexton in this game tonight, it's going to be tough for them. Jared Allen able to hit with the left. Beal. The follow by Lopez. Six points off the bench for Lopez. Beal to the reverse, doesn't go. Love's got the rebound. Garland up ahead. Osman with a big dunk. Garland's shot clock to three in the paint. Puts it up, doesn't go. Allen's got the offensive rebound. And Jared Allen able to score. He's got 10 points, five rebounds. Out of switch. Lopez. Unreal. Robin Lopez, 10 points now. Neto to Lopez, dangerous pass. Osman's got it, and Jetty Osman with a second dunk of the game. Yeah, Lopez got caught in between throwing that ball to Neto. Gafford at the scorer's table. Beal, and Beal again. Count it, and the foul. But extend the lead going into halftime. You want to keep him on the ropes if you can. Dean Wade has checked in. Here's Garland for three, and Garland cuts it to one. Beal all the way to the hoop with the left hand. 21st half points for Beal. Westbrook, the pull-up jumper. He gets the roll just like that. Listen to Drew Gooden, will you? <laughs> Osman for three. Back rims it. Okoro the rebound. 
Garland, the pump fake, resets for three. And he hits it. Darius Garland now 17 points. Garland, nice pass for Jared Allen. And it's a three-point Cleveland lead. And you hear now Alex Lynn is talking. Deep three for Garland. Mm. His fourth three of the game, and now a timeout by Scott Brooks. Leading by eight, their largest lead of the game. Davis Bertans for three. The Wizards needed that in a big way. A huge way. Beal all the way with the left, gets the roll. First two points of the quarter for Beal. He's got 22. Just an intelligent score right there. Now Kevin Love posting up. Here's Love, pump fake, resets for three. No. Bertans and Gafford on the floor. Beal the pull up from the free throw line. 24 for Beal. Della Badova in. The lob for Allen. And that's just too easy. Jared Allen now six. Osman has it swatted by Gafford, saved by Bertans, but right to Allen. And he's got an and one as Ish Smith commits the foul. Ish Smith left alone for three in the corner, rattles it in. Second three of the game for Ish. He's got eight point. Nance, shot clock to four. Leaves it off. Allen dunks it on Bertans. And he could catch bodies. Shoot. Garland over Neto. 22 for Darius Garland. Westbrook. We got a whistle. Count it and the foul. That's one way to get yourself going. Garland nearly traveled. And Garland with the left. He's got 24 now to match Bradley Beal. He is crafty. Mm. And a turnover by Osman. Here comes Westbrook. He's got Bertans on one side. Matthews on the other. This is Matthews' shot fading away. And he drills it. Is that traveling or carrying? <laughs> or both? It's a turnover. <laughs> <laughs> Allen gets the roll. Garland goes down. Beal has it, finds Matthews. Garrison Matthews will pull it back out. Here's Beal in transition for three. Got it! Allen, no whistle, and he dunks it. Gafford went down trying to draw the charge. Beal trying to get free against Elavadova. Oh, Ooh. what a triple by Beal, the finger roll. 29 for Beal. What a way to use the hands up. Beal, the pull up from the free throw line. Beal starting the field again, 31 now. There's nothing you can do. Back rims it, here comes Westbrook. Hit Bertans in transition, got it. Wizards have their first lead since 71-69. Westbrook, the lob, and it's picked off by Allen. Osman able to finish on the other end. I mean, that was exceptional defense by Allen on that last play. Shot clock to five. Westbrook leaves it off. Gafford for the hammer. Bertans gets the rebound. Up ahead, Gafford pump fakes, dunks on Jared Allen. That can score with the best of them, with the ball in his hands. Let him go to work. Shot clock to five. Beal to the hoop. Got it! Shot clock down to seven. Westbrook, the pull up. Off the glass. Puts it in. Gafford trying to save it to Bertans. He just flicks it down. Smart. Smart play. <laughs> Smart and the play. Wizards. Glow was not an all-star when he was on the Charlotte Hornets That's because he was popular, G. Focus. Ch Chauncey Billis was all-star. He shouldn't have never been an all-star. But he was a popular player. All-stars can be popular, right? The next thing is all-NBA. <laughs> Check that box. Right? And then you go to the boxes of individual accomplishment, being the best in the NBA at something. That's a check. Then that's when you start having conversations about championships. Once you check those other boxes, All Stars has always been overrated in the NBA. It's like a, a celebration for fans to to root for the players that they like all together. But 
it's a ton of all-stars who never made an all-NBA team, which means they was never the best player at their position. They was never a top three player at their position or offensively or defensively. That's what's important. I don't care about the all-star team. Yao Ming is trash. <laughs> I will say this. Yao Ming got about five all-star appearances he should not have. Yao Ming was all-star. Chauncey like Billups got five years. all-star appearances. And I, and I don't want to talk bad about Chauncey, but Chauncey is a career 39% from the field. Totally inefficient. Chauncey got 39% for his career? What, like, why would Chauncey Billups? Chauncey Billups shot 38% from the field at times. Chauncey Billups shot 40% from the field. Chauncey Billups... I don't even know.